with the wonderful beginning of the most awaited event for a toddler's parent. Let us all gear up and look forward for a wonderful start. Heading towards orientation session. I, Ishita Gupta, welcome respected parents, Reverend Director Sirs, Madam Academic Director, Headmistress Ma'am, Coordinators, Teachers and all those who have logged in today. No other way than taking the blessings of Almighty would be the best way for initiating the event. It's the formal day today to visualize how the journey of education of a little sapling is going to be. Dear parents, allow me to take you with us to the glimpse of how we learn and we grow. Preschool, the foundation year, one of the most important year in a child's life. As strong foundation laid results perfection. We being promoters of holistic development of an individual, involve, analyze, organize and categorize all the aspects and requirements of early childhood education and thus pace forth. Wonderful learning years. This being our motto, school incorporates the latest methodology, techniques and skills that will groom little sapling of Teresa as a blooming Teresian. One of the major concerns of parents of a little toddler is academics. The pre-primary department of St. Teresa is well equipped with the latest learning techniques for our little ones. UK-based phonics methodology, Jolly Phonics is a fun and child-centered approach for teaching synthetic phonics. With actions for each of the 42 sounds, the multi-sensory method is very motivating for our children. From the age of 3, Cubeto, second latest teaching technology. Montessori approved Cubeto is a friendly wooden robot that teaches our kids the basics of computer programming through adventure and hands-on play. The pre-primary classes are embedded with vibrant colors and AC for the comfort of our toddlers. In St. Teresa, we have introduced various labs to enhance motor skills and IQ level of our young achievers. The students work independently in these labs. Conceptual lab, where the students are able to explore the world on their own. They enjoy doing self-directive activities and role play. 
language lab where the students learn to do picture reading and word blending under the supervision of our trained teachers. Maths lab where the young explorers have a collection of games, puzzles, blocks and other learning material to learn and to develop an interest in mathematics. Library to inculcate the habit of reading. The pre-primary library provides opportunities to our little stars to adopt reading habit from an early age. Infrastructure, the basic requirement, has been taken care of as per the need of people associated to school. As school has emerged and evolved gradually over a decade, we have understood the need of a student, analyzed the platform required, understood the importance of proper care of a child, thus have framed a conducive environment where a child can learn and grow. When I joined the school, I was named and I was a blank paper ready to incorporate the formal world. This is how every child starts his or her journey. It's not just about how we feel, but same were the feelings of our parents too. Formal education are first and dare to prepare the child to face the formal world. Every parent expects to see development in the child's personality. That too gradually. And when the outcome and the results are visible, satisfaction prevails. Today, I am going to tell you about phonics sounds with jungle. A. 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 Answer my A. A. Answer my own. Cause me alarm. B. 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 Bring your bat and bring your ball. Bring your bat and bring your ball to the park to play. Results are the fruit of efforts, and acknowledgement is its food. And those notes of acknowledgement is said to be our achievement. Achievements are the gauging meter of how much effort has been put forth. And with every achievement, with every performance, child keeps on paving path, posting another milestone and thus targeting at another achievement, waiting for him.
Hello everyone, my name is Tanu Kirotra and I'm the mother of Arjun Sharma who's studying in St. Teresa School in Nursery P2. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the management authorities and the teachers who are working really hard to teach our children. So specifically, I would like to mention Aarti ma'am and Neha ma'am. Uh, they are doing the commendable job, how they interact with the students. It's amazing. You know, they're not just working on the academic aspect just to cover the syllabus, but they are working on the overall comprehensive development of the children. So it feels really nice. I feel blessed that my child is studying in uh, St. Teresa school. And again, would like to thank the management and the authorities that they never ever pressurized us you know, to uh, pay the fees on time during this lockdown or during this COVID pandemic. So uh, it's commendable. On behalf of all the parents and our lovely children, students, I would again like to thank them for uh, teaching our students and our children and shaping their lives and future. Thank you so much. No growth is possible without proper care and guidance. We have been fortunate and blessed to be under guidance of extraordinary caring administration. Our directors have always acted as a path paver. Let me take this opportunity to introduce you to our director, Honorable Sri Raman Raja Khanna sir. Good morning to all of you present in this virtual assembly. And uh, my open arm, warm welcome to the new parents and our new students, to the family of St. Teresa School. When I say that we are one family, that means I want to send you the feeling that St. Teresa School is an, another family from your home. Because it is a family and, and home where we feel the most comfort and ease also. And why I say that we are a family? Because we feel that the teachers, the staff, the students, and the new lovely birds which we are in our garden, we are all one family and we have all got together to provide them the best environment so that these birds, these birds blossom into unique flowers, wonderful flowers. Dear parents, in this orientation program, I want to tell you that what are our chief and a chief goals and main goals of education the first thing we want that our children should have highly developed brain the second thing we want that our children should have a sound steady robust body the third thing we want that our children should be imbued with indian values they must become global citizens, but their rules should be embed, embedded into Indian values. And we want to blend the East and the best and churn out the best. In short, we want that their brain should be global, but their heart should be Indian. The fourth thing we want is that our students should be concerned about the society as well as about the environment also. And the fourth thing, our main aim is that our students should develop spirituality. Their hearts should be full of compassion and kindness like that of Mother Teresa. 
these are the main goals we want to achieve with the students and for them for that we provide the best environment in our school we provide the latest technology and modern methodology for our students to achieve these goals we need certain key traits to be developed in the students and those are life skills we want that our children's communication skill should be of a high level they should also be beaming with confidence their mathematical skills should be strong and besides that they should have the capacity of adaptability and resilience of it because i believe that failure is never final and success is always needed again success is to be attained so the students whenever they are in their life feeling certain difficulties they should never feel depressed and for that resilience should be developed amongst the students and one of the most key factor which we want to develop amongst our students is discipline it is one of the key factor in achieving a meaningful successful life because discipline is the bridge between the aspirations and the accomplishments today this factor becomes very very important when we are having very small families and we are having one or two children only many a times when we ignore this fact of discipline there is a great slip at the hands of the students as well as the parents and we slip into a quagmire from where the repair and the return becomes irreversible this is my experience of educational field of 40 years so dear parents discipline and balanced way of living must be attained and implemented in life discipline does not mean restrictions we do not want to kill the colorful world of the children but only we want that the creativity should be there creativity should be enhanced but at the same time with discipline the planning should be proper the vision should be known and our direction should be correct one dear parents when we all together work for the betterment of our children for the education of our children definitely we will be able to achieve our target for the last so many years we have been able to produce wonderful results in academics as well as in all facets of life it is only because our teachers have done very well or the management has done something of very something extraordinary it is always a team work and in that team work the support of the parents and cooperation of the parents is always needed when we work together shoulder to shoulder we are able to achieve our goals i am proud to tell you that during the last 7 years it is with the team work that we have been able to achieve wonderful results benchmark performances have been given by our students for the last 7 years our results in class 10th as well as in class 12th have been 100% and and the best thing is that during the last 12th board exams our more than 50% students got more than 90% marks and in this the scintillating performances the shining performances performances the twinkling performances were also there our topper got first position in school with 98.8% mark ritvik jori 
AFMC AIR 41, JIPNER -E AIR 977, NEET AIR 7381. We are not performing well in the educational field. We have been given lots of awards and accreditations. Also. We have been ranked as the fourth best school in Ghazia by top schools of India, ranking 2080 by digital learning. Certified as leading school in academic excellence in Ghazibad at World Education Summit, Mumbai 2018. We have been ranked amongst top five schools in Ghaziabad leaders category by Times Survey 2020. Awarded with prestigious British Council International School Award 2018-2020. We were awarded this this same award in 2015 also up to 2018. We have also collaborated with TEDx to set up a TED Ed club in this school. Not only in academics, in the field of uh, sports also, our students have produced shining results. One of our students, Shivam Chandra, Riti Bhaskar, and Dhruva. They are holding national ranks. Our students are bagging rewards and ranks and gold medals in literature also. Singing also, so many times our students have won gold medal. Dear parents, this has all been possible because of our collaborative efforts of the teachers, parents, students, and the management. And today also I assure you that you have chosen St. Teresa School, you have made a right choice, choice. And I assure you, we will come up to your expectations. We will not only come up to your expectations, we will perform beyond that also. That is my firm belief. And when we will both together work, definitely we will produce genius out of our children because each children is just like a bud wrapped in petals. We have to only provide it environment, proper and enriching nutrient environment so that the child blossoms out into a unique, colorful flower. With that, I wish you best of luck. And we will have a very enjoying and joyful journey along with our children from childhood to adulthood. God bless you all. Hello everyone, my name is Anjali Goel, mother of Arab Goel, a student of class 4. My son has been fortunate enough to grow under the trustworthy canopy of St. Teresa since pre-nursery. The pedagogy of the institution is highly updated, effective and thoughtful. The concepts are designed in such a manner that child learns without getting overstressed. It gives ample opportunity to develop confidence, thereby enhancing and polishing the skills of every child and helping him grow in his own unique way. Not only academics, but holistic development of a child is taken care through brainy and fun activities. The teachers make sure to bring out the best in every child by paying close attention to one and all. The safe and clean ambience is obviously a cherry on cake. Being a grateful parent, I hereby extend my regards to the management, principal and teachers for nurturing my child with all the love and care and helping him grow as a future ready child. Thanks a lot. We have evolved during these years of association with school. 
and have been constantly guided by a group of educators times and again. Let me introduce you to our Honorable Director, Sri Vijay Kumar Gulati, sir. Good morning, parents. I, Vijay Gulati, Director of the St. Tessa School, congratulate to all for initiating formal study of their work in St. Tessa School. On behalf of school, I assure you we will provide world-class education to our students to become global citizens. I wish my little students wisdom and good luck. May you learn and grow. Thank you very much. When I attended my orientation, I was excited about everything. But one event was very special when all the mother teachers showed up. Greetings to everyone. I am Shweta Singh. I am Reda Gautam. We are the teachers of Nursery P1. Greetings to everyone. I am Abhin Kaur. I am Aarti Chan. We are the teachers of Nursery P2. Greetings to everyone. I am Rekha Bhaji. I am Bhavna Bajpe. And we are the teachers of Nursery P3. Good morning. I am Shumita. I am Kompal. We are the teachers of KGJ1. Greetings to all. We are KG teachers. From the entrance to the bus gate, from reception to the playground, from teachers to all the DDs, and from annual function to all the assemblies. Each and every place and every person associated to school makes us learn and evolve. Amongst this one thing we always find inspiring that is being addressed by our academic director ma'am, Ms. Renu Srivastav ma'am. Good morning everyone. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Uh, heartily welcome to St. Teresa family. And uh, I know that choosing the school, it is really a very, very tedious job and it is difficult job. It is difficult process because school is not only the infrastructure, school is not only the building. School is a place where your child build up his or her personality build up his or her character and this is the place where most of the learning is going to happen. So I extend my sincere thanks to all the parents who have shown trust in the school and they have chosen St. Teresa School for their parts. So thank you so much parents. Parents, school, as we utter the word school, first thing which comes in the mind, that is discipline. And discipline doesn't mean that the strict rules and regulation. Why discipline is mandatory? Why discipline is important for the children? Because if they want to achieve their goal, they want to live successful life, then it needs time management. It needs certain routine. Time within the time foundation, if they are able to achieve their goal, then only they will be successful. And this, these are the formative years where children, they learn all those qualities. These are the uh, proper age. Just imbibing, inculcating those values so since the starting this discipline. And for the what what we want, we want to inculcate discipline in our children. We want that our children should be polite enough. They should be humble. 
because when i interacted with the parents 100% parents they said this thing their first aspiration is they want that my child should be a good human being so if you want that your child should be good human being then paying respect to others be humble be polite that is the uh, top most priority so we want that in the school they should learn discipline they should learn how to be humble how to behave with others and why what is the need of the school what is the because now you know parents all the things are available if you talk about the knowledge all the things are available on single click google is there and each and every knowledge can be given through google home tutoring can be done so what is the need why every parent want to send their child into the school there is a thing that is the problem solving skills and leadership these are main two qualities these children they learned in the school only when they sit in the group of 15 in the group of 20 in the group of 30 or 40 then they mingle with different kind of children and those children are here from different cultural background from different economical background when they mingle amongst the children there are having certain differences also so how to overcome from those differences how to overcome from small small the problems that they face in the class these are the main things where school play a very important role so my request to all the parents suppose if daily we are lecturing to the uh, child that you should be polite enough you should be humble you should be kind you should be disciplined then lecturing doesn't work only 10% things will go into the mind and 90% cases child will listen and ignore the things but if in front of child we will be adopting all those things we will be performing all those things then unknowingly child will be grasping all those values that you want so my request to all the parents when you are here in the school starting from the gate please behave very nicely because in some cases i have seen maybe you are in hurry or you are in trouble so when guards they say this thing please now new normal is they are wearing mask is very busy compulsory and it is for safety point of view is also it is important so sometime if guards they are pinpointing sir please do the entry or wear the mask then few of the parents they agitate you know you do not know who am i and you are asking me to enter do the entry and all how can you tell this thing to wear the mask and all so these things if in front of child you are doing your child will also be learning the same thing so if you want that your child should grow into a good human being then you should also behave nicely in front of child and uh, according to us discipline is a very important virtue so it will start from the starting of the day so school timing normal school timing for nursery kg it is na, uh, 8:30 to 12:30 and for primary classes it is 8:30 to 2:30 these are the normal timings but in the starting especially for nursery and kg standard for few days timing will be 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock normal times they are uh, school is working for uh, nursery to third standard the school is working for five days monday to friday saturday is off for the children but in this new normal where the covid pandemic is there so first we will be taking your consent whether you want to send your child offline or not and with your consent few days we will be calling your child for two days only two days offline classes will be there and three days online classes will be conducted and those two days for new admissions of kg and whole nursery their session will be started from 
8th of April. Friday, Thursday and Friday, 8th and 9th of April, two days, children, they will be coming, they will be reporting here at 9 o'clock. This is for nursery and KG new admissions. They will be reporting here 9 o'clock and first day you will not be getting transport in the morning. All the parents, they are requested to drop the children here in the school and one of the parents, if you will be opting for the transport, then at the time of dispersal, 11 o'clock, first day, 8th of April, parents, one of the parent is needed here and they should accompany the child into the buses so that you can show us the correct stop and all so that from next day, the driver should not any problem, should not face any problem and we can pick up your child at the correct place. So this is about the uh, uh, this timing of the school. So my request to all the parents, first day timing is 9 o'clock. So please be here by 8.55. And in normal timings, when the timings will be 8.30, I would request you that all the children will be here by 8.25. After 8.30, gate will be closed, right? We want the children should learn this time management and discipline. 8.30 means 8.30. So at the gate, there should not be any drama that uh, uh, this problem was that, that problem was there, and uh, how can you stop my child? Few days, if you are new to this place, few days, if you are a little bit late, we can allow you, we'll be writing one application. Next time, you will not be doing those things. Then we'll allow, and after 10, 15 days, it will be a rule. After 8.30 sharp, gate will be closed. So be very, very particular about the time. If children, they are pedestrian, then parents are dropping them. So prepare them nicely. I, I know that these are the little babies, and you have to wake them in the morning. It will take some time to make their schedule and all. So my request to you that now you know the timings and all, and you know how much time you will be taking to come to the school. So that schedule you should start since tomorrow. So that when first day child will be here, that time child should not face any problem. Right? So this is my humble request to all the parents. And uh, another thing like... Uh, what will be the rules and regulations and how you will uh, be sending the children. So first day, when you will be sending the children, their all the belongings should be labeled. Name should be there, bottle, lunch pack, and their books or copies, bag. All the things should be labeled nicely. I-card is mandatory. I-card, child should wear I-card. And why it is mandatory? Because nursery KG kids, they are very small. And sometimes out of a stress, if they are at the new place, and if you ask the name and all, sometimes they do not utter. So if his bag or her bag and books and everything will be labeled nicely and child will be wearing the I-card, it will be very, very easy for us if you want to contact you. In some cases, we can immediately contact you. So don't forget that your child should wear eye card, which is very, very much important. You will be getting school almanac diary. And in diary, two pages are there, two pages. All the informations are being asked. So first day when child will be here, all those information should be filled. It should be signed by the parents. And you should send all those information. One copy of that page will be kept here in the school. And one copy will be there in the diary itself. So that is very, very important. And uh, uh, when, because your children are small, so when at the time of taking lunch, they should have apron, they should have a uh, tablecloth, they should have hanky, handkerchief. So these things should be sent first day also. So their child should learn the etiquettes also and should not face any kind of problem.
and uh, book distribution and uniform distribution book list is available at the reception so for the convenience of parents book and uniform uh, we have contacted few of the shopkeepers they will be available for few days in the school if you wish that you should uh, purchase those things from the school then and I'll, i'll be just telling you the timings and the dates and all and if you want to purchase from outside then you can collect book list from the reception and you can purchase from outside also so if you wish to purchase uh, books and copies from school there are two days allotted for you that is 24th of march and 25th of march 25th of 24th of march that is for nursery and kg new admissions and timing will be 9:30 to 3 pm again i'm telling you for nursery and kg new admissions if you wish to purchase books and notebooks from the school it will be available on 24th for nursery and kg new admission timing will be 9:30 to 3 pm and for rest of the parents from class 1 to 5 new admissions it will be available on 25th from 9:30 to 3 pm in the school itself book set as well as the uniform book and if you do not want to purchase from the school you want to take from outside then you can take book list from the reception you can purchase from outside that is your wish only so when you will be coming to purchase the book list uh, purchase the books as well as the uniform that time uh, i card and dispersal card few of the circulars that should be collected we'll make the arrangement that the teacher should be there so you should contact the class teacher and she will be giving you the i card and the other formality should be done if you wish to avail transport facility the same day transport form should be collected and it should be filled and should be given to the class teacher so that we can appropriate we can arrange appropriate buses for you so these are the things that i wanted to inform to you if any of the information that i have not given to you you want that that information should be um, available you have class teachers number you have reception number you can just call us and within one call we will be providing proper information so all the best parents i want that your children when they will be passing from 12th standard i want that they should be full of all flying colors as sir said that i want to produce all good orators good dancers good musicians good thinkers good leaders so whichever qualities your child will be having collaboratively will be working over there and i'm sure when your child will be passing 12th standard you will be proud of your decision thank you so much this is how we proceed proceed towards achieving perfection and knowledge but not only this a lot more where our toddlers can bloom and can grow